Jesus was the prophet. And so we are also prophets. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we see King Herod is perplexed when he hears about Jesus. People tell him that new prophet has come up. He thinks that John the Baptist has risen back, but he says, I have killed John the Baptist. So from where does this man come or who is this? So they say probably one of the prophets or Old Testament prophet. Similar thing we also hear in another place when Jesus himself asked his disciple, who do people say that I am? And disciples say, some say Elijah or one of the prophets. You see, people relate Jesus with prophets. That's fair to relate him with prophets because of his role of preaching, of teaching, and of course, performing miracles. So these were the things done by the prophets. But Jesus is definitely more than the prophet. He is the son of God and he is the savior. Because of his life, people relate him with prophets. So when we reflect the life of prophet and the life of Jesus, there is similarity. Both these prophets and Jesus First of all, they believed they were chosen by God and they believed that they had the Holy Spirit with them. And their message was the love of God, mercy of God, justice, truth and peace. These are the similarities between Jesus and the rest of the prophets. Today when we reflect about this passage, what message can we draw for ourselves. Yes, we need prophets in our own time to proclaim the message of love, mercy, justice, truth and peace. And we, the followers of Jesus, we need to believe that we have the greatest gift, the Holy Spirit with us. With this, we need to know that we are anointed by the Holy Spirit. And with this gift, we practice one of the aspects of Jesus, that is, Jesus was the prophet. And so we are also prophets. But what we need to do is, we need to believe like Jesus and prophets, that they are sent by God. And it is the message that they give is from God. As I said, we need prophets, but the prophets who will speak the truth, who will speak about justice, about mercy of God and love of God. If we do this, we will be identified with the prophets. The need of the world today is the truth has to be spoken. The need of the world today is the justice have to be spoken. The people all over the world they have no idea about the love and mercy of God. The more and more come to know the mercy and love of God, people will turn to God. There will be peace and there will be conversions of hearts of the people. So my dear brothers and sisters, today as we reflect that Jesus was identified with prophets and today we are gifted with the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. So let us live the life of prophets by proclaiming love, mercy, justice, truth and peace through which we can bring salvation to the world. We can bring people more and more closer to Jesus, to the knowledge of God. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to bless us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen.